What a beautiful, beautiful day today, friends. Yes, and for that perfect shot of Jerusalem skyline. Look at this. With that dazzling golden dome of the rock up there. Church steeples. Yes, dome roofs. There is no better place here than has promenade. This is scenic, gorgeous lookout point as has promenade. This is the age of the peace forest up there. It overlooks Jerusalem from the south and runs for 1,300 feet. Yes, from this elevated position you can see the Mount of Olives up there. Yes, Mount Scopus and the beautiful old city. What a gorgeous view, truly. The Has Promenade has a um, place. This is the place mentioned in the Bible. This place mentioned in Genesis 22 where Abraham stood here. He stood here and look out over Mount Moriah, which is Temple Mount, where he was about to sacrifice his son Isaac. In this peaceful promenade, you can rest under shady trees, in landscaped gardens, and as you take in the view of Jerusalem here at your feet. Yes, among the sights you will see in the distance are the city of David here, Temple Mount with the Dome of the Rock. And now I would like to show you a very interesting place. This is the fifth shaft of aqueduct. This fifth shaft is topped by a circulated installation that has a detailed mosaic showing the road of aqueduct. The first aqueduct starts from Solomon Pools, three reservoirs about three kilometers from Bethlehem. The name of Solomon Pools comes from book Ecclesiastes, chapter 2, verse 6, which mentioned King Solomon saying, I made reservoirs of water grows of flourishing trees. Experts, however, believe the construction of this structure used natural resources as a base for aqueduct. It was a natural tunnel, till these days you can see it. It's 80 meters narrow tunnel. And we see, even now, that the end of the summer season, as it was no rain in Israel for the long time, but nevertheless, the water is here because of natural spring that provide water to the aqueducts. The system used until modern times. From this aqueduct, water supply was to Jerusalem and also King Herod Herodian Palace. Water was not just the source of life in ancient times but also was for strategic elements and for the source of power and control. 
shafts covered by metal groups of previous stones being dropped in the tunnel. As in Isaiah chapter 41 verse 18, God promises and He says, I will open rivers in desolate places and fountains in the midst of the valleys. This is the provision of God Almighty and great promise, not only for natural life, but also, I believe, for spiritual that I truly believe God will provide for this nation and people in this place. And He will quench the spiritual first by providing to this nation a living waters and salvation to human beings through Jesus Christ our Savior and Healer and Redeemer.